So here is my little secret project I've been working on. I have the screen in, the Raspberry Pi, and a few other components. Still have a little bit more to do, but I really couldn't hold back anymore. I wanted to share this with everyone. I'm really excited about it. So this is not finished yet. This is just a prototype. I have still more work to do, but in this video, it's going to be a quick overview. Let's get into it. Okay, I've had some Raspberry Pi units for some time. I've had a Raspberry Pi 2 for uh, pretty much since that one came out. I've got a Raspberry Pi 3, and I also have a Raspberry uh, Pi 0. I've been messing with them for a long time. I've had a lot of ideas going in my head and stuff I want to do with them. Uh, I've seen some such great work with other people converting broken or other types of units into these like little mini cades. And they've done some really nice work, and I've been a big fan of uh, Neil Henry of Old Makes New. He converts the old Coleco mini cades into these really nice uh, home arcade units, and I'm actually on his list, and I've actually been called. It's my turn to get a unit from him, and I'm driving him, I think, a little crazy. I'm just trying to figure out which unit I want him to build me. He does some really, really nice work, and I want it to be special, so I haven't been able to pin that down. But in the meantime, I've had my own ideas of things I've wanted to do uh, with this. Now, like the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero, they're only supposed to cost five bucks. Of course, I could ever find it for that price. I got this kit here uh, for $19. It didn't come with the Samsung card, but it did come with the Raspberry Pi Zero, uh, a USB mini to USB full size adapter cable, some, some pin headers for the GPIO ports, a power adapter, an HDMI cable, and a, and a case. So I've been thinking for a while, you know, uh, these are neat. You can kind of put these anywhere. You can just plug them in, use very little power. You can play some old arcade games, old consoles. And the Pi is really neat for a lot of things, but to me, that's what I want to use it for. And I just been going ahead for a long time. What do I want to do with one of these units? Because you can play some really good games on here. And no classics run at full speed, even on a Pi Zero. You're not going to play Street Fighter 2 at full speed. But Pac Man, Donkey Kong, the classics I like, would surely play on the Pi Zero without any issues. So a few months back, I had gotten this Arcade Classics number one, which is a Pac Man. And I also got a Space Invaders one, which is number two. And I have a review to them. And they're nice. I have, I'll put the link down below to the review. They're definitely nice, but I definitely saw something more in these than what you got here for the $15 these things cost. What would happen if I took a Raspberry Pi and integrated it into this little guy here? Um, this just uses a regular little LCD, predetermined graphics. The sound effects are really nice, and the controls are they are okay. I mean, it's nothing special, but they get the job done. So what would happen if I could take a Raspberry Pi and stick it in here? Well. I'm going to show you guys my little prototype. It's not done yet. I have a little bit more work to do on it. But when it's done, I'm hoping it'll be a good homage to the other people making these great little conversions. And I'll show you in just a moment what I was able to do. Now, again, it's not finished. The sound's not working on it yet. Um, it's not closed up yet. i got to still get space a little bit more condensed in there. And I have to get a couple more little buttons put in there to, like, escape out. But for the majority, the concept itself works. So let's have a look. Now, these are the parts. I haven't gotten them all in yet. The longest thing I was waiting for was a screen. Now, I actually really want to put a 2.4 inch screen. I think it'll fit better in here. The 2.8 inch arrived, and this took three, a little over three months uh, to get the screen. It's a touch screen, so potentially I could hook that up as, here as well. But I have a Raspberry Pi Zero, you can see here in a case. This is an old USB uh, hub with uh, four ports on it, which I stripped the outer case off for space. And I have a little battery pack here, which should be more than adequate to supply this thing with power. And it's also got a charging circuit built in. So I'm still waiting for a little soundboard uh, to put on here as well. Um, but other than that, I had enough here to at least get started. So let's have a look. Okay, so just to show you real quick, uh, this is just getting the screen. Now this is not a, a, a directly, I'm not sure if it's really composite to be honest. Uh, it doesn't connect to the composite port, which is actually right here on the Pi. I'm actually going to the GPIOs and the Pi still thinks this is an HDMI screen. Now it's definitely not an HDMI screen but I think it's a little bit better than composite. Um, but if it is composite it's still pretty decent. So this is a touch screen as well. Uh, that's not that's not hooked up here yet. But you can see at least with just using this little cable here I was able to uh, get um, 10 yard fight uh, the arcade game here uh, running. And we have power, the USB hub and it's, it was going to HDMI uh, just for the initial setup until I was able to get the GPIOs reprogrammed to go to this screen. So you can see here, um, 
I have it, it's not closed up, but it is inside the case. You can still see the, uh, the monitor cable sticking out here a little bit. But uh, everything should fit. It's just not done ni nicely yet. But uh, this is my button A. This is currently working. A button B, currently working. Left, right, up and down joystick is working. My start button is here. Select button is here. I do want to add things like a pause and escape uh, and maybe a coin button. So that's, I'm waiting for those little, uh, little switches to come in. I got like 50 of them, 50 of them coming in from like eBay for like a dollar. Um, but right now this will be just a quick little concept. You can see the screen protector is still on here. You can still see the little sticker with the little label on it. So the screen looks better in person than on the camera, first of all, but it's still got the screen protector on here, which is not helping it. Uh, but you do see that it does work. Now you can see down here, there's some writing still here and it's up here as well. So I can either cut this out down here and up here and the 2.8 inch would fit perfect. But I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. I'm still waiting for my 2.4 inch screen, which I think will fit in here absolutely perfectly without me making any modification to the screen. Okay, so now let's just go and uh, see a couple quick videos of my first prototype of my little Pac-Man mini cake. So this is what the Pac-Man looked like originally. And let's take a look at what it can be turned into. I think this is going to be much nicer. And you can play a lot more than just Pac-Man. Let's have a look. Okay, here's the little Pac-Man unit. I do have the screen in. And you can see Retro Pi uh, is loading. Again, the screen it looks much better in person. My uh, cell phone is not the best at capturing the different changes in light. And also the screen protector is still actually on the screen. But right now I do have uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero installed the screen and have all the uh, controls hooked up that came with the actual unit so the left button is my A button the uh, right button is my B button the uh, on off which was the power on off originally is currently set as a select and the speaker is uh, start and uh, there's no speaker installed yet either I'm still waiting for that component but as you can see here moving the joystick left and right I'm able to select the different uh, games in the uh, RetroPie image. I have quite a few in there. I have all the Ataris in there, the 2600, 7800 Lynx, a PC Engine, the NES, uh, MAME, Vectrex. Uh, it's pretty neat. I, I could put more on here. Uh, I currently have a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card installed. Uh, I have a 64 I'll probably put in there. You can see I have uh, MAME running here. And nothing like a little uh, Miss Pac-Man playing on Pac-Man. Even in the arcades, there was a couple of people who had taken the Miss Pac-Man board and shoved it into the uh, Pac-Man arcade machine, so this is okay. Um, I tried loading the Pac-Man, but I, didn't, I don't think I had the right ROM. But uh, Miss Pac-Man does play here. You can see I'm able to select and start the game. Uh, obviously, uh, as I said a minute ago, uh, there's no sound yet. I don't have the little sound board. The uh, Raspberry Pi Zero didn't have any uh, easy way to... Uh, to get audio out on it. Uh, I didn't realize that when I got in the uh, Pi, uh, but I've had it a while. I, I know that now. So I'm just waiting for, again, a part to come from China so I can hook up the, uh, the speaker. But you can see the joystick does work. Um, it's still hard doing it like this because the back panel is not on it yet and the parts are still loose. So it's kind of hard uh, controlling it, but the joystick, you know, gets the job done. It's, it's a little bit on the stiff side. I think it's mostly because it's a small nubby type of joystick. But it does respond. You press up, it will go up, down, left, and right, which is what you want. And uh, the angles actually also work too. Um, but it's really not too bad. Uh, again, the, the actual Pac-Man game I got here was like uh, 15 or 16 bucks at uh, Toys R Us. And they're readily available. It's not like I won't have a hard time getting more. And uh, just putting a pie in there. Now, I, I don't think, uh, again, I'm new at this. I think it would be very difficult putting a Pi 2 or 3 in here. It's really tight in the back. Uh, between putting a Raspberry uh, Pi Zero and a little hub and the power and, and sound circuits, it's going to take up more space. But then again, a lot, of, a lot of that stuff's already built into a Pi Two, so I may get another one. Maybe when I convert my Space Invaders over, I may try it with the Pi Two 
and seeing if even though it's more um, it's larger there's more uh, there's more room overall because most of the components are on that one board uh, it really just depends on the screen and how much room that takes and then the control panel that's in there already and I still want to add a couple more buttons I want to add an escape and a pause button at least and maybe a separate coin button but overall uh, this is just my prototype and I think it came out pretty well so here I'm just going to run through a couple of other uh, emulators that I have running on here to show how they work. And again, it's a little hard to see here, and that's not because I can't see it. In, in person, it's very easy to see. Uh, my cell phone is really not good at uh, the different changes of light between the ambient light room and then the screen itself. But that looks like I'm pulling up the Nintendo emulator right now. And we have the Donkey Kong Classics, which was good. The Nintendo version was pretty good. It was missing one stage, you know, on both of these. But you have Donkey Kong Jr., which you can see here, which is awesome. And again, this screen is a little bit too big, but on games like this, you don't notice it because um, a lot of these games were built for horizontal, uh, especially the home conversions like the NES. So you don't notice that the screen's a little bit too big, and actually, it might it might be okay keeping it like this. I'm not sure. I'm going to do more testing. And then it should automatically go into the uh, Donkey Kong demo next. And again, you can see here, uh, for these type of games, you can't notice that the screen's a little bit too bigger for the opening. Any game that's probably built for a horizontal viewing would probably be perfect for this. But vertical games uh, would use that extra space on the top and bottom, and it might be more noticeable at that point. Kind of stinks there's no sound yet, but that is something that will uh, hopefully be here uh, pretty quickly. Uh, again, this is just my prototype. There's still a lot of little changes I want to make, but I was just really excited about this. I've been thinking about this uh, since these first came out on the market uh, a good like five, six months ago. Um, and it is something I really wanted to do, and I finally I got, got the stomach bug. I was actually home sick for a little bit, and I had some time on my hands, and this is, this is what happens when I have time on my hands. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first viewing of my little uh, Minicade project with a Raspberry Pi Zero and a little Pac-Man uh, console I'd gotten from uh, Toys R Us. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I have still more to do, but I just really wanted to share with everyone what I had done. And um, I will definitely post more videos as I get more parts in. And I'm, I'll probably do a build video as well to see how I actually made it. But in the meantime, everyone, remember, game on.